Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking Love Island UK. Today we're talking specifically on whether or not production set Danica up to fail you guys. What am I talking about? Um, so I haven't talked Love Island UK in a few days. Um, it's just been crazy busy, but I promise you um, there are going to be some separate takes that I have on um, some of the things that's going on with some of the storylines. And in this particular video, I just want to discuss the new bombshell Danica and was she ever set up for success in the first place, you guys? Was she ever set up for success? And it's giving me deja vu to what happened to Rachel last year and the unnecessary amount of hate and things that she is getting. And just to quickly recap, you guys, um, Danica, she came in as a bombshell. She came in hot during a challenge, during like a seesaw, um, sexy dance type of challenge. And um, you know, basically was trying to meet everybody. Some of the girls were being a little bit catty and this and that. And probably because it was triggering them, probably they might felt that, you know, a couple of their guys might find Danica attractive or could potentially turn their heads for Danica and this and that. And so Danica had barely been in the video, the um, villa, not the video, had barely been in the video, <laughs> the villa. And um, Luca was the person, though, of the men who continued to um, be welcoming to Danica, continued to show her around, continued to introduce her to people. And she made it a point to say that typically Luca and um, Jack. Jack, Jack, Quiz? Jack, I keep thinking of the R&B singer Jack Quiz. You guys, you guys got it. You got it. Got it. You guys got to stop. Um, Luca and Jack, that essentially those are her type. Those are usually what her ex-boyfriends look like in this and that. So that was probably going to be the direction that she wanted to go in terms of getting to know people. And so then from there, there was an immediate text that evening, you guys, that she needed to choose <laughs> like a person to couple up with. And I was like, wait, what? And that there was going to be a spur of the moment recoupling and whoever was not picked of the men that they were immediately dumped, you guys. And so, you know, they left it on a cliffhanger. As you guys know, tonight's episode, they started right off the bat with Danica choosing Luca, which he had a very vocal reaction to. And I'm not mad at the honesty in terms of people being real and being raw on this show finally versus like the pretend people that try to pretend that they're cookie cutter, that they're good people, this and that. And then their tea ends up getting exposed, that they were a fraud, that they were acting the whole time, that they were playing all of us for a fool, that they were just looking for social media clout, that they were just looking for followers and attention and everything else. So I appreciate in the one regard that yes, you're being honest with your feelings, but at the same token, um, some of the reaction was kind of mm, like we're only two weeks in, you guys. This is the start of the third week and you're acting, Luca, like you and Gemma are married off and the show is over and you guys have won the 50K. Like, like, seriously? Seriously. So um, I just felt I felt so bad for Danica because I firmly believe that she was encouraged by production to choose Luca. I think had she had more time and had more time to assess the couples, she likely would have picked um, Akena, Dami, or Jack, or even David, Davide. Um, I think those would have been the better options, you guys. But as far as everything else, as far as some of the reactions and things people have, and they're like, oh, well, she should have chose a single and this and that. Well, first of all, Nobody has anything, you know, it cl it's clear production didn't want to keep Remy because he wasn't bringing anything. And he she could have maybe chose Jay to start drama with um, Ekansu, but I don't think even that was really relevant, right? So, I mean, what were her options, you guys? But we have to do better. And what is with production sending all of the couples that are heading for failure and disaster on dates, you guys, this season? Like, what is going on? Um, Gemma and Davide went on a date. Obviously, they're never going to be a thing again. Um, Liam went on his dates, of course, with Afia and Ekansu, even though he's, like, obsessed with Gemma. 
Uh, you know, of course, we had Dami and Amber. And as you guys know, I was teamed Amber all the way. However, it looks like things might be shifting and things might be blown up sooner than what I was expecting. And now we have today the date with Luca and Danica. And not only do we have the date, you guys, they're matching just like <laughs> just like Danvers, Dennis date, you guys. Why is production being so messy this season? And then the date setup is matching what they're wearing in their outfits. There's like some blue flowers. There's some blue pillows and, and this and that, like the beautiful sea blue in the background of the beach and the water and everything else. And this, Like, it's just too much. It's just too much to where it is so obvious production has their hand in this season. Production is paying attention to what people are saying on social media, what people are doing in their YouTube reviews. They are taking note of it all, you guys. When we told them we were sick of Gemma Island, they shut that down. When we told them that we needed more balance to see the other couples, they gave us, um, you know, more episodes featuring some of the other couples in their storylines, you guys. And now it seems as though people are very upset as far as what happened with Danica. Danica. Like some people are thinking, you know, oh, well, she should have chose a single or she should have known better. But you have to think about it. She really wasn't there that long, you guys. She was not there that long to make that type of a decision. She didn't even find out Davide's issues with Ekansu until after the recoupling. So I know she didn't know the seriousness of Gemma and Luca. And then Luca didn't want to even sleep in the same bed with her. Um, but it's okay for Gemma to still sleep with Davide. Like, it, it was just a lot, you guys. And so now he's saying that, you know, that will probably be his last conversation <laughs> with her. Like, it's just, it's just wild. It is just absolutely wild. How can you be a wingman for her and help her couple up with one of the other gentlemen if you have no intentions of ever talking to her again, Luca? Make it make sense. But I, this is where I feel like we cross the line with production in terms of some some of these bombshells are never set up for success and I just didn't like the way that as a result of all of this how Danica was being treated in the villa even when she was getting ready for her date um I believe only Tasha and Paige were there to help her get ready at first and then some of the other women trickled in a little bit towards the end but basically nobody likes her right now right and, and here's the thing. She doesn't owe anybody anything, right? And, you know, a lot of, for a lot of these bombshells, they have to earn, you know, whatever in the villa, they earn their stripes, go through whatever hazing period there is or whatever <laughs> is going on. But just some of the rude and two-faced behavior was just, it was just a little much. I was uncomfortable watching it, you guys. I was uncomfortable watching it because they did not treat, um, you know, Ekansu that same way when she came in hot as a bombshell as well. They did not give her that same energy. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I just hope things get better for Danica. I hope she finds a person, but I just hate sometimes where they throw in certain bombshells on purpose, such as an Afia and now potentially a Danica to where they're not set up for success from the start, you guys. Now, granted, there are some bombshells that do not, you know, graft, that do not, you know, bother to get to know some of these people and turn into furniture or think having a couple of conversations with people is enough. And then they can just go relax and be besties with everybody or whatever. But then there are people who make it an intent to get to know people on a more serious level to see if there's chemistry, to see if there's a connection and this and that. And um, and then sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. Like, for instance, with Remy, he kept trying, but then he kept getting blocked by Akena with India. He kept getting blocked by Dami with Amber and this and that. So I get it. I get it. Not everybody is successful. Not everybody can read the room and read the social cues. And not everybody is fully aware of what the true dynamics are of the couple. But the irony in Luca's reaction and being so upset when the first week in the villa, he liked a different girl every single day. Um, one day it was Paige. One day it was Tasha. Another day it was Gemma. Like, you, dude, were not sold on anybody either. But now, all of a sudden, you're married off after two weeks, you guys. <laughs> so so there is that. But I just, I really hope that things get better for Danica. And I hope production listens to this 
that we don't want to see people humiliated like this. Like there's other ways to approach drama, you guys. There's other ways to approach drama. And it's just very unfortunate that, you know, Danica was not giving proper time. Um, I think even, you know, Remy and Jay had a longer time than Danica did to truly graft and get to know some of these guys. And she would have known the seriousness of some of these other couplings. Um, however, she was not set up for success. So the reactions, the cursing, just the whole thing was just, it was a lot, you guys. Like I said, I don't mind people being blunt and being honest. That's part of the authenticity that I do like about reality TV when people are and they're not acting or pretending to be good people when the cameras are on. But it was a little much. It was so much to where I felt bad for Danica and my heart was breaking for Danica. And nobody deserves to go through that, you guys. Nobody deserves to go through that and it was giving me deja vu of what Rachel went through you guys so I'm just hoping that she does find somebody or that the villa does end up warming up to her more that more of the females talk to her a little bit more but it's just it's just it was just uncomfortable you guys it was just very uncomfortable and they have not treated all the bombshells the same you guys that have come into the villa like that so hopefully she can find something like i said with either davide with dami with akena if he's still on the show um or even jack even if possible because he as much as he cuddles up with Paige, he still doesn't kiss her or anything i don't know if you guys noticed that but um there is that so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.